In today's video, I will show you how to use a Cloudflare tunnel to remotely connect to your home assistant without opening any ports. If you watch the whole video, you will be able to access your home assistant from anywhere using HTTPS connection absolutely for free from a first level domain ending with GA, TK, ML and so on. I'm not quite sure as I have a real IP address here and I have nowhere to test this, but I think if you are behind CGNAT, this whole setup will work for you as well. By the way, check my free smart home glossary where you will find some simple but useful explanations of the most common smart home words and abbreviations. The glossary is all free and you can get it on my website automatelike.pro slash glossary. Now, let's start this video as I can't wait to show you these cool things. And the first one is to get a free domain name. Of course, if you have a paid domain and you want to use it, you can do so. I'll open the freenum.com website in order to register a free domain and I'll search for temenu.ga, temenuga, which is a kind of flower in Bulgarian. I think it's a violet or something. And I'll check for availability. It is free and I'm going to click on checkout. I'll extend the period to 12 months for free and I'll click continue. I'm not quite sure what will happen with this free domain after 12 months. If you happen to know that, let me know in the comments. It will be very useful for all of us. I'll enter my email address right here. And I'll click on verify my email address. And I have to wait now for the email to arrive. It can take some time because it's a free service and it is not very fast sometime. Okay, I have the email. I'll click on this link to confirm it. Now I have to enter my details here. I enter my information here and I'll tick this. I have read and agree the terms and condition. And I'll click on complete order. And my order, which is completely free, is confirmed. And I can go to my client area and I can see my domain name, Temenuga, violet in English, as active. Next, we have to create an account in Cloudflare. This is so standard and easy that I will not even show you the exact steps. On top, Cloudflare is so popular lately that there is a big chance that you already have an account there. If not, just create one. Now go create an user on cloudflare.com. I already created one. And inside the website section, I'll add a site. As you can see here, I already have one site that I did some test with. It's called Sapruga, which in Bulgaria means wife. But it doesn't matter actually. I'll add a new site. I'll enter Temenuga, which is my new free domain that I just created and which also means violet in Bulgarian. I'll click add site. I'll select the free plan, which is just perfect. Scanning for existing DNS records. Okay, I'll wait for that. Then I'll click on continue. Without DNS records, Cloudflare is unable to activate your site. I know that and I'll click confirm. And this is what I wanted to get. These are the Cloudflare's name servers. And I'll copy them and I'll go back to my Freenum management portal. I'll click on manage domain. I'll click on the management tools name servers. Use custom name servers. And I'll paste the name servers that I get from Cloudflare. I'll copy the second one. And I'll click on change name servers. And configuration of my free domain name Temenuga is almost finished. Now I have to wait few minutes and I'll receive a mail from Cloudflare telling me that my site Temenuga is added. Congratulations, you have successfully activated Temenu.ga or Temenuga or Violet. Your site will now receive the benefits of Cloudflare's performance, security and reliability features. Great! To be a Brenner, hope that I'm saying his name right, 
is the author of the Cloudflare Home Assistant add-on, so all the credits goes to him. Let's install the add-on that he has created, as it will greatly help us in our secure tunnel mission. This is the official GitHub page of Home Assistant add-on Cloudflare, and here we have some prerequisites. Please make sure to remove all other add-ons or configuration entries handling SSL certificates. That means if you already have DuckDNS add-on, or Let's Encrypt add-on, or something similar, or you have manually configured some SSL certificates in your Home Assistant, you have to remove them. Next, you have to have working Cloudflare setup with a domain name, and we already have that, so we are good to go. And the last prerequisite is to decide whether to use a local or managed tunnel and we are going to use a local one. And we are coming to the actual installation of the Cloudflare Home Assistant add-on. I'll open my test Home Assistant, I'll press the C button on my keyboard to invoke the search bar, and I'll type add-on, and I'll go to the add-on store. Then I'll click on this three dots menu, repositories, and I'll paste the Cloudflare repository here, you can get this from the video description. The author of this is Tobias. Thank you, Tobias. Please continue supporting this gorgeous add-on. And I'll click Add. And then Close. Here it is, add-on repository for Cloudflare. I'll click on this, and I'll click Install. If you don't have add-on section in your Home Assistant, that means you are not running Home Assistant OS or supervised installation type. If you want to know more about the different installation types of Home Assistant, check my webinar. I am explaining there everything about this topic. It is completely free and you can register on my website automatelike.pro slash webinar. The Cloudflare add-on is now installed and I'll go to the configuration section. In this section I'll enter my domain name which was Temenuga, damn now to correct which is Temenuga, and I'll change the Cloudflare tunnel name to, let's say, my Home Assistant, and I'll click Save. I'm ready to start the Cloudflare add-on in Home Assistant, but before that, I have to add some YAML code in my configuration.yaml file. For that, I'll open my file editor, and I'll open the configuration.yaml file. Of course, you can use any other text editor, that you wish. Inside the configuration.yaml file, I'll paste the following lines, which will allow requests from the Cloudflare add-on. I'll hit save, and then I'll restart my Home Assistant. The grande finale is just ahead. Let's see if our Cloudflare tunnel to Home Assistant is actually working. Home Assistant has started, and I'll go again to my add-on section. Add on store, Cloudflare add on. The configuration is OK, I think. And I'll go to the info tab and I'll hit the start button. Then I'll go to the lock tab and I'll hit refresh constantly here. So far, so good. Please open the following URL and log in with your Cloudflare account. OK. I'll copy this and I'll paste it in a new tab. I'll select my Temenuga domain and I'll click Authorize. Success! Cloudflare has installed a certificate allowing your origin to create a tunnel on this zone. Very good. Let's hit refresh again. Everything seems good, except these minor errors which I don't know how to resolve. If you know that, let me know in the comments. They are not fatal, everything should work with them, but anyways, if you know the solution, let us know. Now, it is time to check what we have done. I'll open a new tab, and I'll type temenu.ga, and I'll hit enter. And this is my Home Assistant, great! I managed to open my Home Assistant using the Cloudflare tunnel. Mm, I see one problem here. The connection is not secure. That means it is a HTTP connection. Making this a secure connection is very hard. 
it will take us around 1 or 2 hours, but let's do it. I'm kidding, it's very easy. I just have to change the HTTP to HTTPS and now enter my domain name again. And now everything is fine. I have a valid certificate coming from Cloudflare. And as you can see, I will be able to log in if I enter the correct password. Login. Yes. If I disable my Wi Fi, I'll connect to my phone. Let's see if it's working. Yes, I have an update. I have to update to the latest Home Assistant OS. Great! Everything that I showed you so far is free of charge, which is wonderful. But there is one more bonus. You can now use this domain that we just created in the Home Assistant Companion app, which is available for iOS and Android devices. Doing so, you not only be able to control your home from everywhere, but you unlock some device tracking features and notifications that are pretty cool. Next Wednesday, I will release a new smart home video. I'm Kiryu and I'm done speaking. Bye!